guys. Alaska Crafty Gal Victoria here. I have lots and lots and lots to talk about. Um, it's all going to be pretty much crochet related today. But first and foremost, I want to thank all of my new subscribers for joining me. Welcome. And I want to acknowledge some other podcasters that have given me a, po a shout out recently that um, drove more subscribers to my channel. So I want to thank um, Terry over at the Yarn Joy podcast. Thank you, Terry. Very kind of you. I appreciate it. Um, Rose over at Rose Likes Crochet. Thank you, Rose. Love you, girl. And Billy, sweet Billy over at the Crafty Floridian. Um, thank all of you ladies. I really appreciate it. You did drive some, some more subscribers to my channel and I, I can't thank you enough. It means so much to me that, that you would think of me and, um, give me a little shout out. So I appreciate it very much. I do. Thank you. Um, I've been, of course I'm completely healthy, recovered, so happy about that. Gosh, that would, that, that sickness was a doozy, man. It, it kicked me in the butt. It did. Um, I haven't been sick like that. I don't know if it was the flu or just a virus or what it was, but whoo, fever and like their whole body sore. So enough said about that. I'm glad that is done. As you can see, look what I finished. My Victoria Lacey shawl pattern is done. I love it so much. My husband went and got Beverly out of storage, so I'm super happy to have my my Beverly model back. But I love this pattern. This is that pattern by Pattern Princess. The It's called the Victoria Lacey Shawl. That's why I picked it, because it had my name in it. But um, yeah, I absolutely love it. It is so pretty. It's comfortable. It's light. Remember, I made this out of the Super Saver Ombre Peppermint. Yeah, I love it. It's so pretty. It looks so nice on. Um, I just love it. You can wear it a hundred different ways. And I just am so happy that it, I finished it. it. That was one of the, the things I finished um, while being down and out. And then um, I also made... <laughs> I made... Well, it looks kind of funny right now. But I made this cute little watermelon drawstring bag. It is so cute. I just used Super Saver um, yarn. I used like a, I think it was called, of course I didn't get it, but I want to say it was like patty green and then a dark green, white, um, hot pink or flaming pink, and then black, some black. And then I just did a chain um, to make for the drawstring and you just weave it in and out of, um, double crochets on either, you know, you just do it, skip, chain two, skip two, double, two double crochets, chain two, skip two. And then that gives the spaces, see, it gives the spaces for you to put your drawstring through, but it is such a cute pattern. Um, I do a lot of Pinterest, um, looking for crochet patterns and stuff. I find the majority of my stuff through Pinterest. Um, and this was, of course you find the pattern and then it drives you to the website where you can find a plethora of amazing patterns from that same designer. And this one was from a girl named Amber over at, um, I want to say it's divine debris.com debris, D E B R I S. Yeah. Um, anyway, this is her pattern. So stinking cute. And it's such a very well written pattern and it, Oh my gosh, it, she had pictures like to follow along and she just did a great job on this pattern. I love, this is like one of the only watermelon patterns where I have found so far um, that where the rind looks like a rind. I just love it though. It's so stinking cute and it's simple. It works up quickly. I think I made this in like less than a day. It, it's just so stinking cute watermelon bag. So I made that. And then, so that's one of my items made. And then I made a beach bag. Um, I'm playing June yarn bingo with, uh, oops, sorry. I didn't mean to bump that. The llama mama Kayla. I'm playing that. Um, she has a YouTube channel. I'm sure y'all know who she is too. 
Hi, Kayla. But, um, yeah, I'm playing Junior and Bingo. This is the first time I'm playing Bingo, and it's so much fun. I just am having so much fun. And what I love about it is it challenges you to create things that you've been putting off, but you have a bunch of patterns saved or things you were nervous to work on before or didn't really want to do or didn't think you could do. It challenges you to finish your whips, which we all know we have hundreds of them sitting in project bags all over the place. But um, yeah, so this is why I've gotten so many items done because I'm like, you know what? I'm going to start getting this stuff worked on and start getting this stuff made that I've been wanting to do and saving patterns and saving patterns. No sense saving a pattern if you're not going to ever make the product, right? So I made this beach bag. I love the colors. My husband picked out these colors, actually. I, I was choosing, I was going to choose peaches and cream, like on the cone uh, colorway that I got at Walmart for $5, by the way, because all the clearance yarn. But um, I had some of these left over. I don't know if you remember this yarn, but I had made some dishcloths a little while back and they worked up. I had bought these. Oh, where are they? Yeah, right here. Um, at Michael's, I think I said Hobby Lobby in my last video. We don't have a Hobby Lobby here. It was at Michael's. Um, and they were on clearance and I bought like five or six of them. And so this is what I used for those dishcloths I made a while back. And then I was like, my husband's like, that would make a nice beach bag. So, and it did. I love this beach bag. It's not as like a traditional big tote type, but I love this style. So I wound up making a beach bag out of that colorway and I love it. It took a little under two skeins of Caron Cotton Cake. This colorway is, I'm so blind, uh, Boho Floral. And they are, how many grams are they? They're 100 grams. So I used under two of these. So two of these will make a nice big beach bag. <clears throat> and don't let this deceive you. It holds a lot. I can fit two giant towels, like big beach towels in here. I can fit drinks, sunglasses, sunscreen, all that good stuff. Snacks. Yeah, it holds a lot. And it's just so stinking cute. So I made this beach bag. And then I made... Oh, I lost the other one. <laughs> oh, here it is. I found it. I made some boot cuffs. Just um, used Red Heart Super Saver. I don't remember the color. Olive, maybe. But I just made some boot cuffs. Little boot cuffs. Don't remember the pattern I used. I will have to... I have it written down in one of my many notebooks of patterns. But um, I couldn't find it before I made this video, so... I will put the pattern down in the description box once I come across it. But isn't it cute? They're just simple, nothing fancy, but they're so cute. I wear these every winter. I, I don't know if they're still in fashion or not, clearly. I don't care about fashion. <laughs> but I just think they're so cute. And um, I just add a little button. I think I got these ones at a thrift store in a whole Ziploc baggie of buttons. And I just thought they were cute. I like the little design on them. And they're all washable, you know, can go in the washing machine, lay them out to dry. But yeah, so I made some boot cuffs. Also, I made by Posh Pooch Designs. She has this super cute, messy bun hat. Simple, cute, adorable. I love messy bun hats. So I made this one. The color, the light is blowing it out. I'm sorry, but this color is so pretty. It is made by uh, Premier Everyday Yarn, and it's got like, I don't know if you can see it very good. Let me see if I can block the, mm, it's got like a blacky line in there too, like a tweed almost kind of, but not super tweedy. So, messy bun hat. So I made that, and then my stepdaughter likes to go to a lot of outdoor festivals, concerts, markets, farmers markets, things like that. 
and I enjoy doing that stuff as well. So I carried around a giant like 40 ounce uh, metal insulated water bottle. But you always want to be hands free so you can look at the crafts or enjoy a concert or a show. It's nice to be hands free. So I made water bottle sling holders. I did. I made two. And they just, they're nice because they go across the body, you know. That way you just wear them like this. You wear them and the water bottle hangs like, it looks high, but once the weight of the bottle is in it, it hangs down to your hip. And it's nice because you can be hands-free. They're just fun. They work up really, really quick. And I got this off of uh, NicolaKnits.com. It's a super good pattern. She very descriptive. It's a great pattern. Works up really quickly. I made one in this. Just my. I had some scrap yarn. It. Um. I don't even remember what the color is because of course I don't have the ball band. But I just used some scrap yarn and made one for me, nice and bright for summertime. And then I made my stepdaughter one in the Super Saver uh, striping yarn in the Parrot. She loved it because it had like an ombre effect. I already gave it to her or else I'd show it to you, but I'll insert a picture here. But she loved it. She's like, oh, I like how it goes from like blue to yellow to green. Yeah, it turned out really cute and they're just fun. Yeah, so I made some water bottle slings. Nicola Knits Dot com and I'll put like I said I'll put all these websites and design pattern in the description box below when when I get there and then I made a rainbow dishcloth me and my dishcloths I have so many but I made a rainbow hmm. I'm gonna make one more because I can I have to do everything in twos I can't just make one dishcloth I have to have like a matching one it doesn't have to be matchy matchy perfect, you know, so I might do like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, who knows, but I have to do another one. So I made a rainbow dish cloth and I also made, <laughs> this is my most favorite thing of all and you'll know why, maybe in a second. Mm -hmm. dun, dun, dun. Oh, hold on. You already probably know what it is. Ba -ba, ba -da -ba -ba. The bookmark. It's a giraffe. <laughs> it's a giraffe bookmark. I love it. This pattern was, um, oh gosh, I forgot to write it down. But she does so many cute different animal themed ones. I forgot to write it down. I'll, I'll put the description in the I'll put the link in the description box below, but I found the pattern on Pinterest and giraffes are my most favorite animal in the entire world. And so I was like, if I'm going to make one of those, it has to be the giraffe. And it worked up in like one evening. The only thing I did, which made me sad is when I attached the tail, I went and I put, after I sewed it in, I was trying to get a good picture of it. Whereas, cause his head is kind of big. But I went to put it in the book and I pulled, I don't know why I pulled that hard. Cause I was like, Oh, I want his tail to be poking out more. And I, I kind of loosened the string. So I got to redo that, but look at his little wispy tail. And for the spots on him, I just used felt because I wasn't about to crochet 30 different shapes of, you know, dots. I just used felt and then I fabric glued him on. But is he not the cutest? His little eye's a little wonky, so he's got a little wonky eye there. Look at his little... And I'm not good. I am not good at face faces, like surface crocheting or surface embroidery. And you'll see why in a minute. But, so I just use wiggly eyes. Wiggly googly eyes. That one's stuck. There it goes. Isn't he cute, though? I, his little ears. I love it. Absolutely love it. So I made a bookmark. Hmm. It's my favorite. I think that honestly, <laughs> I think that is probably my favorite thing I've ever made ever besides this. So I love it though. And then, <coughs> excuse me. Um, 
I have a family member um, who enjoys to have a sip of wine every now and then. And, <coughs> excuse me, gosh, um, I made him for Christmas. Well, it's not really, well, it is for Christmas, obviously, but um, I made him, We one of the squares for the yarn bingo, you had to create something, uh, and I, <clears throat> an item inspired by a book. And so I, I chose the book, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. And I made him a wine caddy. <laughs> so I'll buy him a bottle of wine at Christmas, and then I'll put his bottle in here and give him this as a gift. <coughs> but I'm not good at faces, like I said. This bit was so hard for me to do. And his eyebrows... And I'm not super happy with his eyes, his eyeballs, but practice, practice, right? That's how you get better at something. You just keep trying and keep doing it. So I love it though. It's so stinking cute. And it was a super easy pattern. Red Heart Super Saver yarn, same patty green that I used or whatever it was called, spring green that I used for um, the watermelon bag, the bottom of the watermelon bag. I just used it for his face. I know that the Grinch is more like sickly green, but I didn't have, I wasn't going to go buy more yarn um, just to do this little bit. So I just used it for that. I think it turned out good. And then the brim, you do the, so you work in the green first and then you w attach red and do the gr red, but you do it when you start the red, you start in the back loop only. That way you have that front loop around and then you make the brim afterwards. But yeah, it's all Red Heart Super Saver. You double strand it so it's nice and thick and durable and sturdy. And then you just put the face on. You make the eyes and the nose separate and then you attach them. And then you surface, which I mean, I think I, I messed up on his eyebrow right here. But it's okay. He's still cute. He's still cute. And he looks like the Grinch. It looks like the Grinch to me. So I just think it's cute. So I made that. And I feel like I made a lot more, which I did, but I just, I don't know. But I, then I made a ton of hats. I've been procrastinating making a video because I had other stuff happening, but I made, um, poor Billy. I've been telling her for videos and videos now, oh, I'm going to send the box. I'm going to send the box which I have the box all ready to go. All I got to do is add these hats, tape it, go to the post office. But I made a whole bunch more hats for charity. So I made this one. Oh, and they're all very similar style. So I made that one. I made, hey, this one, little pom-poms. I made that one. I made this red and brown. I like this red because it's got like little blue and yellow sparkles in it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, and brown. I made this one. And I did the pom-pom different. I On half of the pom-pom thing, I did the same variegated and then white on the other half. Just turned out cute. And then I made this one here. This one I doubled up the um, Red Heart. Ugh. This one. I used two strands and then I did the same for the brim in the hot pink. Same pink I used for the watermelon bag. But I just thought, oh, that's a nice, thick, warm hat. So I did that one. I made this one. Navy blue and red. One of my daughters was like, that's my favorite. <laughs> Made this one. Looks a little, oh, I don't want you to see the seam. I don't like that. See how you can see the seam along like that a little bit? Yeah, so I turn it that way. But I like this. I like that pom-pom. Variegated. Oh, dog hair. Or my hair. Not dog hair. My hair. My dogs don't shed, which is fantastic. Yeah, that one. And then 
I just thought these two colors looked really cute together and I did the same thing on this one. I doubled up the yarn so that it was nice and thick and warm, but it's like this corally peach color and then um, like a mint green. It's something about it just reminds me of like Sherbert. <laughs> I just like it. A little Sherbert hat. And then I made this one. This one right here. Love this one. It's nice and warm. <clears throat> yeah, nice and thick. So I made all those hats as well. And um, I believe that's pretty much I, everything I made. No, I made two 4th of July dish rags. Um, yeah, I made two 4th of July dish rags and something else i know i made something else but i can't remember what it is now because sometimes i'll make stuff and it goes out right away you know so that is it as far as things that i have made i will do a separate video of um some acquisitions because it's it's not a whole whole lot but i don't want this video to be an hour long so um those are all the things I have made. Wanted to share with everybody. But yeah, I, I just have been crocheting away when I wasn't feeling well and I got a lot accomplished. It's amazing what you can accomplish <laughs> when you're stuck just sitting around. No, my router, my router little knobbies poke. I don't like that. I want to, I think I'm going to have my husband hang it lower so that it's not looking like a spider web coming out from behind my chair. But anyway, I'm rambling now. Those are all my projects that I have done um, as far as crochet goes. And I wanted to thank all of my podcasters that um, gave me some shout outs and drove some traffic and some new wonderful subscribers to my channel. Appreciate y'all. I really do. And I think that is it for today. I'm going to call it a day, get this video uploaded, get the description um, in the description box. Like I said, I'll list all the websites and the patterns, the links to the patterns of everything I've made if you're interested in making them yourself. And um, hopefully I'll get to doing more videos more often. I just, it's real hard for me to, to make videos constantly. And it's real hard for me to, like, because I love so many of you podcasters, it's really hard for me to watch all of them, comment on all of them. I do watch, I do watch, I do. Um, I used to comment a lot more on every single video and I'd put these like really long, you know, running comments like novels. It's real hard for me to do that because I wind up, spending days and days and days just watching videos and trying to do comments. By the time I get caught up, I'm behind again, you know? Um, so I apologize to anybody, but I am watching your videos, everybody. And, um, you know, I am always giving a, a thumbs up to you. So I am informed. Anyway, I'm rambling again now, guys. So I am going to go for now and I'm going to do another video of some acquisitions and, uh, Keep watching. I really appreciate you guys being here. And I will see you shortly. Bye, guys.